Hello there, welcome to my channel. So today I just got reviewing this product. I just went to Target last night and I also purchased this one which is really heavy. It was kind of expensive. But anyway, right now on this video we're going to review the Morningstar Farms veggie, ti veggie teasers instead of appetizers because it's veggie buffalo wings. It's completely plant-based. It's certified so hopefully there's no animal products in here at all. Now, there's quite a bit of ingredients, but not too many. You know, there could be less, there could be more. Um, and so I went ahead and put these in the microwave just to thaw them out lightly, and then I put it in the air fryer. And uh, FYI, I used to have the buffalo wings from Morningstar Farms. I used to love them, but I haven't had them in years. And I know Morningstar Farms has changed their recipe on their chicken because I don't think they add egg whites anymore. I think it used to not be like completely vegan, but so they don't smell like they used to. Before they had a really strong buffalo. Now it kind of just smells like cornmeal cereal and a very light buffalo. So, um, yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's still it's still good. And the ingredients, do you want to know the ingredients? Let me just, yeah. So again, I put it in the microwave lightly and then I air fried it. They used to be more red back in the day. Okay, the batter is kind of dried out and crispy which could be because of my air fryer it's changed it has really changed it's not the same anymore I used to buy these all the time Okay, the inside is very bland. It doesn't have much chicken taste or essence. The inside doesn't taste much my chicken at all. It's very bland. Like whatever flavor they, they could or do or would or should add to the protein source to make it taste like chicken, it's hardly there. And the buffalo... Uh, wing whatever the buffalo hot spicy it's only on the outside and it's mild i remember back in the day when i had these the buffalo flavors was throughout the whole thing <laughs> and um it didn't have much flavor i'm really not impressed with this anymore i mean if it's only because they took out the egg which i, I could be wrong I guess that's good because they made it vegan, but it seems like they did something else because, yeah, it's not, it's not bad though. It's not, as made with non-GMO soy, colors and flavors from natural sources. I'm though, this is what I don't understand. And I said this on the other Morningstar farm. It says made with non-GMO soy, but then it says bioengineered. Doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway. Um, it's not bad, but I like the old version better. If you don't like super spicy food, you might like it. Again, I hate to sound redundant, but the chicken taste is not very strong. It's barely there. The inside is just blah, and most of the flavor is only on the outside, and that's where the buffalo comes in, and it's not very strong. It's not like, whoa, buffalo wings, you know what I'm saying? So on a scale of 1 to 10, the old version, I would give them like, I wouldn't give it a 10, but I would give it like a 7 or almost an 8. And this new version, I give it a 4. That's how much it's went down. Would I get it again? Probably not. <laughs> so anyway, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try. And uh, 
let me know if you've had the old version and if you've also had the new version and if you can tell a difference because it's been years and years um, since I've had the old version. Anyway, that's my review. I hope you have an awesome day. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>